Palm Coast residents that have swales in our city may wonder how they can keep their swale operating properly throughout the year. Well, today we're going to discuss some helpful tips on what to do and what not to do in order to keep your culvert maintained to assure that you keep your swale system working. Number one, keep driveway culvert ends open by removing debris, grass, and dirt and always blow grass clippings back onto the grass and other landscaped areas. Number two, always remove any high spots of grass that build up at the end of your culvert pipe. Number three, always repair erosion from along the sides of your driveway. Number four, always remove sediment or anything else that has built up in the bottom of the swale that could potentially block the flow of water by clogging the culvert pipe, such as trash, or leaves, limbs, grass, or other debris. There are several items to keep in mind to never do when you're maintaining your swale. Doing so can cause severe issues to the swale system and your culvert pipe. Number one, never have roof drains running onto the driveway or onto the right of way. This can cause an influx of water that the system will not be able to withstand or sustain. And number two, and perhaps the most important, never use an edger along the sides of your driveway. Cutting through the sod with a hard line edger can create a permanent gap between the driveway and sod, making a perfect place for water to seep and wreak havoc on your swale system by inundating it with excess water. It can also undermine your driveway, which can cause it to crack or to break. Simply following these helpful tips will get you well on your way to maintaining your swale system and keep it operating properly for the benefit of yourself and your neighbors. For more information about swales, culverts, and our stormwater system in general, visit palmcoast.gov backslash stormwater.